How to derive short-run and long-run average cost when dealing with constant returns to scale. So here's the firm's production function. Uh, we're dealing with a Cobb-Douglas production function, and it has constant returns to scale because of the sum of the exponents, sum to 1. We're going to let W, the wage, equal 1, and the price of capital R also equal 1. I could have picked any values here. And we're going to start with capital being fixed at 4 units. So I'm going to plug this K equals 4 into the production function and simplify. And now I'm going to solve for L. Just dividing through by 2 and now squaring both sides. All right, the next step is to go to the cost function. So cost equals variable cost, wage times labor, plus fixed cost, price of capital times units of capital. And since W is 1 and R is 1 and K is 4, I'm going to make some substitutions. So just substituting in for the wage, the price of capital, and K. And now we're going to substitute in for L. We're going to plug in Q squared divided by 4 in for L here. And that is our cost function. To get average cost, we're going to divide the cost function through by Q. So average cost is total cost divided by the quantity of output. And doing that, we get this final average cost equation, short run average cost equation. Let's minimize this average cost equation to find where per unit costs are minimized. So we take the derivative of average cost with respect to output. And we get back the following result, the Q divided by 4. The derivative of that is just 1 fourth. And then 4 divided by Q, using the quotient rule, we get back minus 4 divided by Q squared. We're setting this equal to 0. We want to find where the slope of average cost is 0. That'll be at the bottom of the average cost curve. So solving this equation then for Q, moving some things around, multiplying through by Q squared, multiplying through by 4, and then taking the square root of 16, Q equals 4. We're going to take this Q equals 4 and plug it back into the average cost equation. Doing that over here. So where Q is 4, average cost is $2. So long run average cost will also be $2. And the long run cost equation will be 2Q. So if we were to take the long run cost equation 2Q, divide it, by, divide it through by Q, you get back long run average cost. So that's the easy way to drive long run average cost. Get the short run average cost, find where it's minimized, and you'll have your horizontal long run average cost curve. Again, this only works with constant returns to scale. So the minimum average cost or per unit cost on all the firm's short run average cost curves, regardless the level of capital, occurs at $2 because of constant returns to scale. We can look at this graphically. So the long run average cost is constant at $2, and we found our short run average cost curve, this right up here, the Q divided by 4 plus 4 divided by Q. That's a little graph of that short run average cost curve, and it bottoms out here at 4 units of output, where per unit costs are $2. All right, let's uh, find another short run average cost curve for this firm. So we're essentially going to do the same thing, but this time let's pick a slightly larger plant size, larger scale of operations, this time k equals 9, plugging uh, 9 into the production function and simplifying. As before, solving for L, squaring both sides, setting up the cost function, making our substitutions, W is 1, R is 1, k in this case is 9, and now plugging in L plugging in for L, which is Q squared divided by 9, getting average cost, minimizing average cost, solving for Q. Average cost is minimized at 9 units of output. And at 9 units of output, we plug that uh, 9 into the average cost equation. Average cost, again, is $2. So once again, long run average cost is just going to be $2. And the long run to uh, total cost is just 2 times Q. 
So as I mentioned before, the minimum point on all the firm's short run average cost curves, regardless of level of capital, occurs at $2 because of constant returns to scale. And now a graph of both of those short and average cost curves at different levels of capital. The minimum point is always at a per unit cost of $2. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.